Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to discuss about um, shift reduce parser. So uh, we are talking about uh, bottom up parsing, right? So in the previous class we discussed about the uh, handle pruning. Okay, so now we talk about uh, shift reduce parser. So what is this shift reduce parser? So it's a bottom up uh, approach that means we'll start with leaf nodes and finally we'll reach our root nodes. So um, in order to a complete shift reduce parser we require two data structures the first one is the input buffer storing the input string and second one is a stack we know what stack is all about so stack is last in first order right we all know that so stack for storing and accessing lhs and rhs of the rule okay so what is in a, what is stack here and remember the only difference between the stack and the input buffer is in stack we will place a dollar symbol at the front Okay, so dollar symbol is placed in the front. So coming to input buffer, the dollar symbol is placed on the extreme right. Okay, so uh, this is stack, this is input buffer. So uh, the first one, the input buffer storing input string and second stack for storing and accessing LHS and RHS. Now, what does the parser do? What does shift reduce parser do? So shift reduce parser uh, has following four basic operations. The first one, shift Second one, reduce, third one, accept, and fourth one, error. So first one, shift, second one, reduce, third one, accept, fourth one, error. So what is shift? Moving symbols from input buffer onto stack. So there are symbols in the input buffer and moving that symbols onto the stack is nothing but your shift. Now reduce. So what to reduce? With what we will reduce? If handle appears on the top of the stack, if at all any handle appears on the top of the stack, then reduction of it by appropriate rule is done. So we will apply some production rule and reduce that with that particular production rule. Accept. If the st stack contains a start symbol, so what is start symbol? So start symbol means uh, the production which is given for you. So here I, I have written capital S. Let us assume capital S is starting symbol. So you may have another production like capital E. Okay, that means your root. So if the stack contains start symbol only and input buffer should be empty. If our input buffer is empty, then we can say that our string is accepted. And finally, error. So if neither case, we get an error. So these are the four basic operations we have in shift reduce part. So the first one is shift. What is shift here? Moving, um, moving symbols from input buffer onto the stack. What is reduce? If the handle appears on the top of the stack, then reduce uh, that with appropriate rule. And what is accept? If uh, if your uh, stack contains only the starting symbol and your input buffer is empty, then we call it as uh, accept and finally error. So these are the four basic operations to be uh, performed in shift reduce parser. Now we will see an example, so now we will see one or two examples so that you will get a clear cut idea about what is shift reduce parsing. So let us consider a grammar here. So grammar G, E tends to E minus E, E tends to E into E, E tends to ID. Now we, we should perform a shift reduce parser for the input string. The input string given is ID1 minus ID2 into ID3. Okay, so here we need to construct a table. The first one is stack. So what I said here, in stack, we should write dollar first. What about input buffer? So the input buffer is nothing but your id1 minus id2 into id3. In input buffer, we should write dollar. Dollar will be present at the last. And what is parsing action here? That means we are performing either shift or reduce or whatever we perform, we should write here. That means the rule which we are going to um, reduce or substitute. So whatever. So first your stack contains dollar. So your stack contains dollar. So end of the day, remember that we should get our root. That means we are starting with leaf. So let us assume these are leaf nodes and finally we should reach our root. So what is our root here? Capital E. Okay. So what is my input buffer given? ID1 minus ID2 into id3 as i said that input buffer contains dollar at the last so dollar symbol 
Now, what is my first terminal here? ID 1. So, what is my first operation I have? Shift, reduce, action and error. So, first I should perform shift. So, what happens when I perform shift? So, this ID 1 will go after dollar. Okay. So, I am performing shift. So, what happens? ID 1 will come to dollar. So, dollar ID 1. So, now I am left with minus ID 2 into ID 3 dollar. Okay. So, now whether I can perform reduce operation now I, I should perform reduce operation or I can uh, shift my operation. Now I should perform reduce operation here. So reduce. So in the place of ID 1, uh, I can reduce E tends to ID, right? So reduce E tends to ID. Okay. So in the place of ID 1, I will write E. Why? Because I have already reduced ID 1 with E. So don't get confused. Here we have only E tends to ID. So E tends to ID can be E tends to ID 1 or E tends to ID 2 or E tends to ID 3 either way. So don't get confused with that. So uh, in the place of ID 1, I reduce with capital E. That is, how, uh, that is my non-terminal, right? Now, what I can shift? I can shift minus symbol. Okay. So before that, it will be ID 2 into ID 3 dollar and shift operation. So what I can shift? Minus. So dollar E minus. So I am left with ID 2 into ID 3 dollar. Okay. So I can't substitute for minus symbol, right? So again, I should perform shift operation. Shift again. So what I can shift? I can shift ID 2. So I can shift ID 2 here. So dollar E minus ID 2 and I am left with star ID 3 dollar. Now again ID 2 can be substituted with E, capital E. So reduce E tends to ID. So what happens here? Dollar E minus E. So star ID 3 dollar. Now do I have a production for E minus E? Yes, I have a production for E tends to E minus E. Now I can straight away reduce this. So reduce E tends to E minus E. So what I will get here? Dollar E. And I am left with star ID 3 dollar. So next I can perform shift operation. So what happens? Dollar E star ID 3 dollar. Okay. So uh, can I substitute anything in the place of star? No, right? So what I can do? I can shift my operation again. Shift. Okay. Right. So I don't have place here. Uh, please pause the video and uh, please note it down and I can uh, erase from and I can erase here and I can write here. Okay. Okay. Anyways, I am not erasing here. I am writing here. So dollar E star so again, I am performing shift operation here. I will shift my ID 3. ID 3 and I left with dollar. And here I will perform reduce operation. So what I can reduce here? I can reduce E tends to ID. So what I will get? Dollar E star E dollar. Now, do I have a production for E star E? Yeah, I have production E tends to E star E. Now I can reduce that with E. Reduce E tends to E star E. Okay, so star E dollar. Okay, so uh, can I perform any other operation? So what is our concept here? We should start from leaf nodes and finally we should reach our root node. Okay, so that is what uh, if you see uh, shift, reduce, and accept. So, what is accept here? 
whenever your stack contains the starting symbol along with dollar your, your stack should contain a starting symbol and your input buffer should be empty my input buffer is empty so i am having only dollar here that means it's empty okay and this is starting symbol okay then what i can do i can accept i can write accept here so accept so in this way we can perform shift reduce parsing okay um, just pause this video and note it down and uh, i will do this uh, another example so that you will get uh, more clarity on this concept so we'll see another example so that you will get a clear idea so uh, my production is s tends to t l semicolon t tends to int or float l tends to l comma id or id so i need to pass string int id comma id okay so my stack contains dollar starting with dollar symbol and what is my input buffer here int id comma id semicolon dollar as i said that input buffer uh, will write dollar at the end and for stack will write dollar at the start so for what is my first passing action shift so what i need to shift here int so dollar int so what is remaining here id comma id uh, semicolon dollar so what i can substitute for int i can substitute capital t okay so reduce t tends to int reduce t tends to int so dollar capital t and i left with id comma id semicolon dollar so again shift so what i can shift here id so dollar t id and i left with comma id semicolon dollar so in the place of id i can write l why because i have l uh, l tends to id right okay so reduce l tends to id so what i will get dollar t l and comma id dollar okay now shift comma okay so dollar t l comma and i am remaining with id semicolon dollar now i don't have anything for substitution for comma okay so now again shift id so dollar t l comma id so semicolon dollar so in the place of uh, l comma id i can reduce with l why because i have a production l tends to l comma id so reduce l tends to l comma id so in the place of l comma id in the place of l comma id i can substitute capital l so dollar t capital l okay so semicolon dollar now shift semicolon okay so what i will get so dollar t l semicolon and i left with dollar okay so uh, i am writing the step here so dollar t l semicolon okay so uh, what what step i can follow here so i have t l semicolon i can reduce with capital s okay so uh, reduce s tends to t l semicolon reduce s tends to t l semicolon so in the place of t l semicolon i can write dollar s okay so finally i reached my uh, root uh, what is my root here capital s is my starting symbol okay so finally i left with empty input buffer my input buffer is empty so that means finally what i will get here accept so finally my string is accepted so this is uh, shift reducing uh, shift reduce passing i hope you understood uh, this concept by seeing two examples
okay so um, the students who are watching my channel for the first time i request everyone to please subscribe my channel and please share my videos to your friends whatsapp groups those who are studying in different other colleges and please support my channel in all possible ways thank you thank you very much and have a wonderful day